Mohican. She looked over the balcony at the floor below and watched him talking with his friends. Animated, aggressive, forceful, he sat low in his chair, legs akimbo. His Mohican hair a statement. His eyes burned a don't mess me with me look. He twirled a pen in his fingers as he spoke. The notebook in front of him chuckled with ideas. Louise felt her knees go weak as she watched his alpha male display. She tried to remain in the conversation with her friends, but it was easier said than done as a small blush of excitement ran down her spine, as it always did whenever she saw him. She doubted he'd ever even noticed her, and if he had, only in an aggressive class warfare type way. She was just a pretty little rich kid, porcelain features, perfect hair, perfect teeth. She'd seen the contempt with which he looked at her crowd. She'd seen that look a hundred times before from a hundred different working class heroes. First one up against the wall come the revolution. She hated the cliched nature of it, a posh girl's desire for a bit of rough. That's something that was always just a little bit out of reach. It was so Bronte. But she couldn't help herself. She wondered what James would think if he knew that every time she let his metrosexual hands wander on her skin, she closed her eyes and thought of the Mohican. She didn't make love to James anymore. He was just the conduit for her fantasy. But when she opened her eyes, she was always disappointed to see his floppy Ivy League haircut and not a rough and ready tuft of hair. The conversation went on around her, but she was lost in her thoughts. As he looked up at her, she realised her furtive glances had turned into a more obvious stare. He caught her looking, curled his top lip and displayed his middle finger. Such an oik, said James, who'd seen the display of working class machismo. Let's go. Yes, said Louise, picking up her bag and trying to sound like the unfurling finger had not just stabbed her in the heart.